Hello people. Welcome to the stream. So, shall we wait um, till eight o'clock? Some people can join in. Go live on eight o'clock. So, um, we should wait some minutes and uh, you can talk uh, with each other, right? <laughs> Hello. Ciao Chu Airsoft, powerful from AK Frost Russia. Hello, I've changed my setup so um, I can read all the comments right now, so that, that's really cool. Hey Gil, Taylor K17. So uh, Gil uh, already has uh, purchased the Kraken Ultimate Edition. Hey Sophie, and uh, he was playing with it today. So we're going to show uh, the people um, what barrel fits on the Kraken bucking or the Kraken bucking on the barrel. And uh, we've got some questions about PDI uh, barrels, if they can fit a Kraken bucking and uh, TNT, Maple Leaf Crash Jet. Uh, everyone wants to know which barrel fits uh, inside the Kraken. So um, we're going to show uh, as much as possible. Yeah, um, maybe it's fun to show. Um, give me a sec and I, I pick some piece uh, from my other table and I can show it. So, um, when I was thinking about the double, double fin bucking, um, which should align your setup as straight as possible, um, then I made it in, inside the Kraken, and then after that I thought, hey, um, this 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 system I want it also in VSR. So, uh, right after that, after the Kraken, I draw this uh, VSR chamber, which has um, a TDC uh, already built in. I mean, the knob is going only from top to down all the time. Um, and um, it only has one BB stopper right now, which is also some sort of TDC BB stopper. It only goes up and down and it has the same system as the Kraken as you can see so this this should align your VSR setup really straight so um, just just to show you short because I had some questions about VSR uh, chamber but I'm already designing it so I, I just need some more time, okay? So right now, you see, it's the same as the Kraken. It can't twist. So um, yeah, I'm busy with it. It, it it's coming there. This, this is also you can't you can't put it on. It's just one way to put it on. It's the right way. So um, yeah, busy with it. Um, give me some months. <laughs> anyway, um, I think it's 8 o'clock already and we should start with the SRS Kraken hop-up chamber. Uh, first of all, there are some guys that um, 
that post uh, on Facebook that the Kraken is only compatible with, with the own uh, parts uh, of Stalker and it's only compatible with its own bucking, but that's, that's bullshit. Um, the thing is, this bucking is made for the SRS and the rest is made for VSR or uh, a pistol or whatever. So if you want something to work with your SRS, you should make it according the specifications and the measurements of the SRS and not uh, according the specifications and the measurements of the VSR because that doesn't work. Um, so, in first of all, I said, okay, I want to uh, make sure every VSR bucking works in the Kraken chamber, but that's impossible because I've seen so many uh, VSR buckings and every VSR bucking has a different size. For example, I'll show you this MR hop bucking. Okay, this internal diameter is like 6.45. Yeah, so we all know the silverback nozzle is 6 mil. So this won't work, it will leak air, and that's why everyone. Uh, cut this little piece and then put an o-ring on this piece and then it squeeze your setup and then you have seal so that's why you can play with VSR bucking uh, in other chambers because either the chamber uh, squeezes the bucking or people do mods uh, to seal the VSR nozzle onto this big entrance uh, so I thought okay um, why uh, why I don't take a chamber head and make it smaller yeah like make this this piece like really small and then the bucking will squeeze inside and then the whole setup seals that what was my first idea, but I've I've tried this. I've made uh, a countless heads with with a smaller diameter so that they could could seal the VSR buckings, but it didn't work out really good. Some buckings uh, sealed and some didn't, so that's not good. I mean, if you if you do something, then um, you need to make sure the bucking seals. And in that case, I've made. A lot of heads but it didn't work out for me so um, then again I've also tried to make uh, bigger nozzles with a bolt bolt handle so I made a custom bolt handle with bigger nozzle like a six and a half mil seven mil but I had problems with the o-ring inside here and the and the size so if you make a bigger nozzle then you need need to make this piece um, right here This piece, uh, you need to make this a bigger diameter to accept a bigger nozzle. So if you want to make this bigger, then you put this o-ring in, and the o-ring needs to be bigger, and then what happens is um, the BB falls out into your receiver, and you have problems with your receiver, but because you can't cock the handle. So this whole system was uh, doable, but then I need to really uh, think about another system and removing this o-ring and blah 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 so and by the way everyone was already playing with the silverback nozzles and I thought okay why not uh, just leave this uh, leave this whole ID out and just make another bucking which is cheaper than uh, buying a whole new handle and making a custom head uh, to just seal uh, this VSR buckings so, if you make a good bucking, then why you should ever change this bucking to another bucking? And uh, I got the question uh, from people, okay, why don't you make an AEG head? Well, I'll show you. This is my AEG head. I've got it right here. I hope I can, can focus a bit. Here's my AEG head. It doesn't have the cuts inside. It's just for AEG bucking. I've got one. 
I've got two. And for me, it didn't work out. Because why? Um, you leave out uh, the advances of the double side uh, bucking. Because if you remove these tabs, this one and this one, and you put it in a AG round piece, this, this, for example, I don't have any fins on this. So I put, I put it in here, it always can twist. You see, it always twists. So I can make an AEG system, but this, you, you got a big advantage of using this bucking. So the thing now is if this bucking performs good, um, which it does because uh, we tested it a lot and uh, some people already play with it and this bucking has a good performance. Uh, I, I don't see any uh, reason to switch to another bucking, but we always want to test and think things out. So we already know that and we are busy with uh, expanding the selections of the buckings. So um, like this is a MR hop, which is just a R hop bucking. And TNT also has this and uh, as a philosopher and stuff like that. So. We're already busy with uh, an R hop bucking, which is the S R hop bucking, which is just a bucking with a arrow patch, uh, arrow patch inside. So we're expanding the selection of bucking. So also with the double fan, uh, double fin, and then uh, yeah, don't see reason to swap these out for AG buckings or other buckings on the market. To me, it's not needed. Um, I got the next question of, um, okay, but I really want to play with my stock barrel because Morpheus barrel is out of stock and I really want to wait for that barrel. So I want to play with a stock barrel. So this is a stock barrel. And uh, the one thing that the Kraken uh, bucking needs are these, these, these grooves or this groove uh, at the back of the window. I hope you can see it. Let me show you. Okay, that groove here, that's the thing a Kraken bucking needs. So this groove behind the barrel. So, um, when I show you a bucking from close, you see a uh, ridge here on the inside. And that's fitting this ridge or groove on the barrel here. So this is the thing you need. If you have this on your barrel, uh, your Kraken bucking fits. And uh, this barrel has a bridge, as you can see, and this is the Kraken bucking. And this just works because I've designed it like this, that it also works on uh, bridge barrels. So as you can see, the Kraken bucking fits on the TNT barrel. It's a TNT bridge barrel. Okay. Uh, next is the edgy barrel, which is also bridged and also has this groove behind the window. You see? So, let's take the purple one. I really didn't mod any thing in the bucking and it fits edgy as well because I designed it like that. It fits the most barrels on the market. So if people post Facebook uh, post on internet that it's only fitting with uh, Kraken parts or only compatible with Kraken parts, it's not. Um, PDI, uh, that's a good one. I think that this is a PDI barrel. It's a pistol barrel. It, ha it has the strange window. So uh, it, it should fit this uh, barrel, but you need to cut this little piece from the back of the bucking. And 
it's just this this whole this whole piece at the end. So if you cut this piece, then it fits on the stop barrel. Because it doesn't have any groove, you see? There's no groove here. So I've already done this. I will show you. Uh, let me see. So this is the modded bucking. I just cut the cut the end off. This is the end. So you can throw this away and then place it on your stock barrel. Like this. So this is your Kraken head and just place it in and it should seal. Um, I think uh, PTV tape is not needed. Uh, PDI barrel It's the same thing you have to cut the end of the bucking You place it on Put your Kraken head on and it should work and If it's sealed that's the second thing, but we're going to test that in a second with the uh, with the stock barrel And if it works with the stock barrel then it should work with PDI as well And if it doesn't seal you need to wind all the um, PTV tape around the bucking and the barrel to close these gaps here because you're missing a ridge or tap that's falling into the groove in other barrels okay uh, crazy jet I see crazy jet uh, let me see I've got this little crazy jet barrel which is from Maple Leaf and it's the same as the GBB barrels. So you take your normal Kraken bucking, for example, this pink one. This isn't modded, it's just a stock uh, Kraken bucking. And it fits the barrel. So it's compatible with a lot of barrels. And if it's not compatible with your barrel, then you should buy another barrel. Because um, the thing is, the only thing you need on the barrel, that's the, the back groove for the third time. <laughs> because yeah, people ask, uh, ask a lot what they need and what fits and stuff like that. But everything is on the website. But I keep repeating. So this is the... The groove on the barrel, you need this round groove and a large enough window. And in this case, the, the Crazy Jet is large enough, TNT is large enough, Edgy is large enough. And I just tried the bucking on on PDI. Oh, let me let me take the, the modded one. And to me, it should work. And it should work with S1 arm and it should work with S3 arm and I'm not sure if it works with uh, S2 arm so if you trying the S2 arm with this barrel or uh, barrels with, with uh, short windows then you need to um, watch out uh, don't over tight anything the wheel don't don't adjust the wheel till it uh, destroys everything just just take the easy step by step and check if it works so i hope this is clear for everyone that it doesn't only fit morpheus barrels but um, the only thing is that i've i said the 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 bucking is made for the morpheus barrel so um the thing is um it fits the best on morpheus barrels that's a fact because some uh, companies uh, make this groove uh, larger or deeper and then the bucking uh, gets a different shape on the end so you get it it goes harder inside the 
the Kraken head. So the best thing to use is the Morpheus barrel, but if you have already another barrel right now and you want to use something else, it's easy to mod the bucking, to shorten the bucking, and just fit it inside your stock SRS. Um, so let's let's go and and install a SRS Kraken chamber. I think that's a good plan. And if you got any questions till now, I see what dimension of window we need. Well, like it's five mil, something like five mil or larger. And Morpheus barrels will be restocked. I hope in the end of next month. Uh, COVID-19 really delayed some stuff and uh, factories were working with uh, setting up a new machine. So uh, the quality was already good, but will be better. <laughs> it's almost impossible, but <laughs> it will. Um, I hope that's, that's clear for everyone with all the barrels. If not, uh, send me a message or uh, re re replay this video later. Good day, Diablo man. So I'm just setting up, by the way, I'm just setting up this stock barrel. This is a stock silverback barrel and the modded bucking. I set it up without PTV tape. And just this head or this bucking and barrel into this head. Nothing more. We're gonna seal test this set in a moment. So I don't even use a outer barrel. It's just this set and the nozzle. We're going to seal test it in a, in a, in a minute. Um, yeah, well, uh, I will save the video later. Everyone can uh, replay it on YouTube or Instagram in my uh, Kraken series uh, folder. So um, let's set up a chamber and um, let's give you some tips and tricks. So this is the ultimate edition of the Kraken chamber. First of all, you open the package, of course, and you can read this nice text on the back. <laughs> There's also the website link and some article numbers. And this design is made by Nick, a really good, uh, a really good friend of us. And uh, thanks, Nick. It really looks awesome. Okay, so what you find in the package is the 60 degree concave bucking. The double finned concave bucking. The Kraken as rest chamber. And a bag of parts. So, first of all, uh, we pre assembled this set with one screw. That screws on the bottom. And these little screwdrivers are really handy. I use them all the time for everything. Uh, we also have them for sale. And uh, you will notice I use this a lot with, with uh, greasing stuff and assembly and disassembly and stuff. So if you don't have it, it's really helpful. So this Kraken comes pre-installed with this little screw in the bottom. And it's because these parts stay together and they won't move inside the package so it's it's not damaging anything so first of all if you get this untighten this screw and then you can get all the parts or disassemble every part from each other uh, so next thing is we need to pre-assemble the body and put all the o-rings in the wheel and the head and we, of course we need to add a hop arm 
and a hop arm screw and hop arm spring. So this little bag contains a lot of small parts so if you open this then make sure you don't lose anything. If you lose anything we have spare kits of uh, replacement kits and this contains all the screws, uh, hop spring, hop, hop arm screw and all the o-rings which you need to assemble your Kraken chamber. So, first of all you put uh, the arms aside, this S1 arm, S2 and S3. Then you have a little small hop, hop arm spring and a really small hop arm screw, put them aside. You've this is the ultimate package uh, by the way, so you find the purple CNC Prowler and the CNC Tigra. Uh, then you find some little screws, you find uh, two longer screws and two small screws. And these small screws are the same as the pre-installed screw inside here. And these two longer screws should be in the back of your body and those are tightening your uh, inner barrel. So first of all, I take this yellow screwdriver <laughs> and I take one of these small screws and put them in the second hole of the body, just a little bit so that it keeps hanging in. Then I take the third small screw and place it inside the body, just a little bit. So right now you have the pre-installed screw, uh, the, the second screw we put in and the third screw. Uh, then we have the two larger screws. And we put them in the back of the body, just a little bit. That's one, and that's two. So, right now, you have your body pre-assembled. Okay? So, next, we have three O-rings. Um, I'll show you. You've got one really small O-ring one big o-ring, a thin big o-ring and a fat little o-ring. Okay, so this small o-ring goes inside the front of the VSR head. Um, the big o-ring, this one, goes inside your wheel right here. Okay, we're going to assemble them in some seconds and this fat o-ring uh, will come behind your body like that okay so when you installed everything and your barrel is in you need to put this over your barrel behind the body and yes we need uh, we made the chamber a little shorter and that's for a reason I will explain later. So, um, let's install all the O-rings. First of all, we do the wheel O-ring. And again, I use this yellow screwdriver. Um, yeah, I just put it in a little bit and then take it to that screwdriver, push it in. There you go. It's inside. So, next up is the really small o ring. We have to put it in the front of the chamber. So, I squeeze it a little bit and then uh, put it against the plus sign. A 
I use my little yellow screwdriver again, make sure it's in. Okay, so that's in. We have one o-ring left and that's when we, we are ready with the installation of the hop up chamber and we put it around the barrel or over the barrel and behind the body. The next thing is uh, we have to choose a hop up arm. Um, the S1 arm is also in the standard edition and of course in the premium or ultimate edition and S2 arm is in the ultimate edition and the S3 arm is also in the ultimate edition. Um, for this time I use the S1 arm because that's also in the standard edition and we put this aside. So we take our body and then we have to um, use the yellow screwdriver again. <laughs> I really use this a lot. Um, I put the spring on, the yellow screwdriver. You see it's right on there, if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. Then uh, you see a hole in the body, right there. And there is where we need to place the spring. And if you let it drop, it drops there. Put it on the table. And then it should stay in there. Yeah, failed. <laughs> and there are more options to do this, but um, this is only a one time install with a spring. Unless you uh, need to unscrew a hop arm, then you need to place it back again. Uh, you can also use a little bit of grease on the spring. Maybe I can show you that as well. Just dip it in, dip it in the grease a bit. Place it on the body. Then it's in there. So that's the second option. First option should work after some tries. Okay, we take the, um, we set this aside for a little while. We take the, the uh, chamber head and we're going to uh, grease the o-ring inside the wheel. Yeah, he will also use the grease method. Um, right now I'm dipping my screwdriver bit in the grease and I'm gonna grease my o-ring inside this gives you a really smooth dial and hope of adjustment then you when you're ready with the grease you can put your uh, wheel on there There you go. When you're ready, um, align those two white stripes or grooves with each other. Okay, this sets your hop on zero, if you can see it inside. Your hop is on zero right now. Okay. Next up, um, we need to choose a barrel. Um, for this time I'm, I'm using a short Morpheus barrel and we put on the crack and barking. That's it. Um, then we take the head and we check inside if the patch is on top and then put it inside this chamber head. Well, this last piece goes a little bit uh, a little bit harder to push it in. You can also use some grease on the outside of the bucking a bit so it goes easier. But in this case I just tried how everyone will do it. 
And if we make this, this part smaller, the bucking will go leak around this uh, grooves. So this is the best um, dimension. And this gives also the bucking uh, a 100% seal. So when you've installed your barrel in this piece, you already see that um, right now my set without a body, this one, is already really straight. If I turn my barrel, my head wants to move. You see? So if I turn my barrel, my head wants to move. And that means this head is totally aligned on the barrel without anything on the barrel. No screw, nothing. And that's because the double fin bucking. So this is yeah really good for the SRS alignment. Um, next, you have to place the body really careful because the spring is still uh, loaded. And when you've done that, we're going to install the hop arm. So let's take the body. put it over the barrel and there's only one way you can install this Kraken head it doesn't go in you see there's only one way so everyone can can install this it's only one way and it's really snug and there's an automatic alignment system in this piece and this piece so when you connect those parts together everything is uh, already almost aligned so you don't need any alignment tool uh, you just need to install this part together and that's it uh, So right now we're going to install the hop arm Okay, so we take the s1 arm and we have to uh, place it on uh, On the body and the first thing you do is put it inside the wheel with, with this little uh, front piece. Okay. So, I'm going to place it inside there and then let it drop really carefully. Then it hits the spring and you push it with your thumb. Okay, so now switch your thumb, put it on the island. So you have the room to put the screw inside at the back. So the spring is loaded, don't, don't release your thumb. You take this really small screw, and this is not a hop arm pin, it's a screw. So it cannot fall out your set. So you wiggle the arm a bit, like this, and you push in the little screw. Um, I've got a little screwdriver for this as well. I'm going to check out if I can source them online, and uh, maybe we can uh, sell packs of these too. So you can use it for your installation. Um, I tighten this screw, just hand tight is enough. And your uh, setup is loaded with the hop arm and the spring of course. So next, next uh, thing is um, we need to lock both body parts together. So first of all, you start with the screw on the bottom. Again, I use the yellow screwdriver. <laughs> okay, so you just need to tighten it hand tight. Not over, do not over tight these little screws. It's not needed. This is only for locking the two pieces together. So the second, second screw and the third screw. Just hand tight is enough. Then we need to lock the barrel. Uh, normally you have two barrel cuts on each side or one cut here and one cut on the other side and then it will lock the barrel just hand tight it first and skip to the other and then tighten it a bit skip to the other tighten it a bit and that's it Kraken is installed that's it um, right now um, I hope you can see it the arm goes down and when the arm is at the end of the hop it will reset itself click there's the end 
Um, okay, so the next thing is um, for the people that bought the ultimate kit um, and want to swap a hop arm, um, it's really easy because uh, we just installed the whole Kraken set, but when you need to swap a hop up arm, it's just a little bit of time needed uh, to swap the hop arm. So we, we take um, we take the, the yellow screwdriver and we're going to unscrew the little screws at the middle of the body. Okay, so when you pop this out, let's see if I can go close up. Let me see. Uh, oh, wait, the, the barrel screws, sorry. <laughs> Need to untie them as well. So let's go again. When you pull these two parts from each other, your whole arm bumps up, and that's it. So right now you don't lose anything. This is all stuck. Your whole arm spring, your whole arm screw, and your whole arm. Everything is stuck. Nothing can fall out. Um, However, when you want to change a hop arm, then you need to unscrew this little screw and just place your thumb on the island like this. Unscrew the little screw. And at the very end, it's really uh, a bit hard to get it out. And I use this small screw bit to push the spring out. So keep your thumb on the island because it's spring loaded and hold it up and remove your hop arm. Your spring is still there. Um, for the people that um, bought the ultimate kit um, and want to, to set up the um, S2 arm, uh, it, it's really it's really working the same, but um, when you, uh, let me show you from close up. When your arm sits in here, it's really tight, see? So this arm knob is really long. So when you want to remove the set, it hooks at the back of the uh, hop up chamber head because the patch is really long. And this is no error or something like that, it's just because the patch is really long, you first need to unscrew the hop arm and then uh, disassemble your body. Because if you do it like I did just some, some minutes ago with the S1 arm, when you disassemble your body and your hop arm still has some hop, it will rip your bucking. So when you you loaded the S2 inside the hop up chamber, then uh, and you want to, to swap it for another arm, then you first uh, remove the whole arm and then disassemble the body, because otherwise you have a chance to rip your bucking and you need to buy a new one. So that's only with the S2 arm. The, uh, with the S1 and the S3 arm, you're all fine. You can unscrew your body take it off and everything is fine but of course put the, uh, the hop on zero as always okay um, so that was the installation of the uh, crack and hop up chamber um, do you have any questions till now okay no questions um, Let me show you one thing. I have no wheel installed right now, but I just want to show you why we placed the fat o-ring at the back of the hop-up chamber. This little ring, 
big fat o-ring big little fat o-ring uh, thing is when you install the whole chamber this is the thing you don't need to forget you have to place the fat o-ring behind the body and there's a reason for this because um, I have an outer barrel right here yeah so when this set is going inside it stops okay so um, when this this whole outer barrel is um, in your SRS then the feed tube will just have one position it doesn't move the only thing that moves is your outer barrel uh, set with all the installed parts in it so um, for example this is this is your uh, feed tube and you you install the outer barrel then there's only one correct place if you over uh, over push it with uh, the barrel lock screw your feed tube goes uh, skew like this okay but you have to find the, the sweet spot so um, when you lock your SRS with this gap uh, the, the screw um, let me see let me show you when you lock this screw um, the outer barrel sets itself on the right position so let me see if this is the screw there's only one position how the outer barrel can be into your set so um, that's why we place the little o-ring on the back of the chamber so when you install this hopper chamber in this A1 outer barrel and you just hand tie this little screw just hand tight do not over tight this then the hop up chamber can center itself between the BB feed tube and this groove of the outer barrel. So this means uh, if you have any uh, wrong dimensions or different dimensions into your set, uh, or whether it's, it's in the chamber or the back on the chamber or whatever, then uh, the outer barrel and the SRS aligns itself uh, between the feed tube and this little groove. So that's why we place the O-ring behind the body. And for example, if we have a, a hop-up chamber that has only one size, like a, a 30, 30 millimeter, then it cannot move because the outer barrel is only that deep. So if we, if we have one length, then it can only move one way and that's the way of your pushing your feed tube and that's not good. So we've installed this O-ring at the back to prevent uh, making the groove bigger in your outer barrel and align everything in your SRS setup. And this one I think is made of steel, the outer barrel, but the A2 outer barrels are I think almost made of, of all made of aluminium. So uh, it's a bit, little bit of protection as well for the aluminium barrels because they wear out much faster than the steel ones. I think okay um, the next uh, thing is uh, how does this crack and bucking seal and why it doesn't need any PTV tape um, I've molded this bucking uh, like three times because I wanted a bucking that didn't need any PTV tape it just it's just plug in and you can play um, so I've installed this uh, A2 G-Spec barrel uh, with stock uh, internals and Kraken chamber and the purple 60 degree Kraken concave bucking. It's already inside my set. I'm gonna disassemble this whole set so uh, it's not fake. I will just uh, show you that it's, it's really sealing with everything stock except for the Kraken chamber and the Kraken bucking and uh, there's some Morpheus barrel inside so um, the funny the funny thing is uh, right now uh, the spring is not stock but um, we use a Rapax Hulk spring and this is no joke 
I will show you the spring after the seal test. This is a Rapox hook spring inside and everything is stock. So, you can see it. There's stock piston, the stock A2 piston. There's a stock spring guide, stock cylinder, stock handle and G-spec. And I will show you the seal test. And it stays there. And my thumb hurts, so I'm gonna release it now. And I show you that inside the setup. It's the Rapox Hulk spring. It's a really fat spring. So this is inside. Oh, don't worry if you missed anything I will upload the video on the YouTube channel so you can replay it whenever you want so there's the Kraken chamber and you see the purple bucking sits in there so I'm gonna disassemble the set I show you that there's no, it's not fake, there's nothing inside, it's only the Kraken bucking. Completely 100% seal with stock parts and a Hulk spring. So that's it. Um, I've showed you the stock barrel before and I'm now going to install this uh, internal parts to show you that this stock barrel with only the modded Kraken bucking uh, which is cut on the back to fit the barrel uh, well, we will see if it seals and we can try it out so I'm gonna set up this set it's the same stock piston stock cylinder and this Rapox Hulk spring and uh, stock butt plate <laughs> so right now there's nothing inside no outer barrel and I'll show you what's in here, in here. It's the modded Kraken bugging. Let me see. So, for the ones that just joined in, I've got this Kraken bugging at the back to fit the stock barrel or any PDI barrel or whatever. And in this case, it's the stock barrel. Put it inside the head and I will load this half set up without outer barrel SRS and I will put this in. Let me find the nozzle. There you 
you go. Let me see. The heat of moment. So, um, let's make some room. So inside, you see no outer barrel. The set is wiggly inside, just to show you it seals. I hope. <laughs> there you go. Voila. So, in theory, I could shoot the BB now and it's, my whole setup is sealed. Let's try it again. How much shield do you want from a stock setup? And just a crack and bucking. There you go. So, what you read on Facebook, don't trust it. Uh, gather your own IDs and sources and check it out for yourself. There's the set, stock barrel, everything stock, just a crack and the crack and bucking. This one is demodded, so it, it, it misses the back end and it still seals. Um, if I prolong stock window, will it seal because we have to shorten the bugging? I'll just show you. This is a stock barrel. <laughs> With only the Kraken bugging. The only thing you have to do is cut the back end and as you see, it will still seal. And if you don't trust yourself or uh, the set, then you can wind uh, the PTV tape uh, around the bucking. Let me see if I can show you. This case, I don't want to, to pull out the modded bucking, but if you don't trust the set or whatever, you don't trust yourself or the setup, you can wind PTV tape on both of the bucking and the barrel and then place it in your hop system to make sure it doesn't leak anything. So again, this is really the Rabak spring. You can ask Milan. Um, I test everything with this spring to make sure it works with all the lower uh, shoe springs. So three plus. RMS, uh, RMS springs, Rapax modular springs are really good springs. I use them a lot because um, we have the shoe limit uh, over here in uh, in our country and um, I can really uh, adjust on the fly. I just put a spacer on a spring guide or leave out the spacer and I'm on the shoes I want to be. So um, if you need a new spring, I highly recommend the Rapax modular spring. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I have 20 seconds left for this live stream. Then Instagram kicks me off. I hope you had a great time. Uh, wish you all luck with installing your Kraken next week or uh, if you're from far in about two or three weeks. And thank you very much for all the support. Bye bye guys and stay safe. Thank you.